All right, guys, how you doing? Quick look round the leaf and ground plot today, and it's a scorcher. Well, here we are then. This is the first time ever, I think, that I've not had any net or mesh over the over the individual beds. All right, we've got some over the uh, brassica cage at the far end and the veggie bags, but um, the beds in general, oh, yeah, I'm chuffed a bit, I tell you. And those um, brassicas, they have shot up. Yeah, we'll look, look around in a minute. Some of these are bolted, but I tell you what, I mean, a lot of people say they don't taste very nice when they've bolted, but <laughs> they still taste all right to me. Yeah, Cosmos are doing all right. Lovely flowers and the, uh, the bees, etc. love them. Buckets of potatoes, there's only two, three left now with foliage on. And, and that's not blighted, that's just dying off. And they are, let me have a look. And they are, oh, 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 golden wonder. Got to make some crisps out of them. <laughs> right, quick look round, I'm not going to do all the names here, I might do some at home. Um, celeriac, brassicas. Yep, lovely. Some more of that Buck's Horn Herbastella, I think it is. It's all right. It, it's a bit different in a salad, I'll say that. And it, um, it self-seeds like mad. But i um, not sure if I'll bother next year unless it grows on its own. Yeah, I see brassicas. Some calendulas at the end. Beetroot. Purple sprout in that big one there, gone to seed already. I had quite a few off these. These are green purple sprouting. So green purple sprouting. What's on? These are green sprouting, like this one. Some call them. Is it tender green? Um, baby corns, baby <sighs> mini cob corn. I'm get me worms all mixed up today, lad. Look. look at that little bee at the top there. Yeah, they, they've taken ages to, to uh, come into their own. They just started getting the male tassels on top uh, this last week. And the, uh, the cobs look, or the silks. I'll give that a rattle for, I'll give it a rattle before I go. Swede, well, they're just dying off. They're not doing very well at all. I don't know why. Um, 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 kohlrabi. Herbie fennel. I've used quite a lot of this. Oh, that smells lovely. These, uh, these big things here are an exotic salad mix. And I, I chuck a few leaves in, they're all right. Yeah, a bit different, somewhat different. Uh, volunteer potato, leeks, <laughs> some green potatoes amongst the leeks there as well. Um, uh, calendula, uh, not calendula, what are talking about? Um, chamomile. And there's the last two buckets there. And there's where I've dumped all the mesh in for now. Um, what have we got? I can't remember what that pumpkin is on the end. I'll have a look when I get home. These are the giant runners, the long runners. I don't know why they're... Looking a bit weird, actually. Um, yeah, they're right. They're doing all right. Some of them, are, Most of them are about 16 inches. Some of them are in tubes to get them straight. These are 16 inches. But the longest one is round here. If I can get over this, bit of a mess. I've only come up to do these photographs, really. Filming. Longest one's 26 inches, and I th I'm gonna have to pick that soon because it's gonna get eaten. Yeah, 26 inches. In fact, I might cut that in a minute. Uh, mixed, mixed frame. Uh, we got corn in there, we got borlotto beans or bolotti beans. We got two different types of tomato, we got courgettes down the bottom. Um, what we got? Yeah, we got Roma and Crimson Crush. Um, there are butternut squash down there. There were some melons in there, but they haven't taken off. Perhaps it's too shady for them. Here's the wildlife bit at the bottom. Ish, wildlife. Wildflower bit at the bottom of the plot. This is what my granddaughter Layla planted when she came up. I sowed them all. Lovely display from the road. So. 
sunflowers and all these wildflowers. Poppies. I'm going to save a few poppy heads when they go a bit uh, drier. Cornflower. Rhubarb at the end. That's been doing quite well this year. Let's get back in here. Thistle. Ow, 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 dead thistle. <laughs> Got to do all this over winter. Brassica cage. Hey, all right, they're growing all right. Some have bolted, as you can just about see there. Well, just just a one or two there. Again, that's some um, sprouting broccoli. But we got brussels, cabbages, cauliflowers, all sorts in here. Need to get in for a bit of a weeding, actually. Trouble is, I made it too low down. There, it's my back. Monge two and petit pois, only a few, just to keep me going. They've gone over now. Um, beetroot zeppa at the bottom there. They're doing very, very well. And celery, radish and carrots in the veggie bags. Empty bed here, just waiting for the brassicas. Uh, more kohlrabi, purple one. Winter Christmassy type potatoes, Nicola. Um, don't know what these are, some brassica. I'll check when I get home. Oh, purple. Purple, purple broccoli, that one, I think. Yes, probably claret, is it? I can't remember. I'll check the name. And a pretty kale. Whether I'll like it or not, I don't know. Orinoco beans at the end, only five or six plants, but cool, have I had some beans off them? Um, Italian giant parsley. Very nice and very parsley-ish. Here's where I tipped out the bucket of um, single seed potato challenge yesterday. That's going to be quite surprising for you this year, I think. Cabbage Rigoletto. Sown on last week of August 2020, planted out 20th of September and harvested in the last month. And this is the last one. This is about, oh, I don't know, what's that? 10 inches across. I've just given one to my ex-mother-in-law, actually. Summer squash. Oh, no, I don't want to see any more summer squash. There was a couple growing down the bottom. Golden fever a few, I think, could well be. Nice big spider over there, just caught something. I'm going to look at him in a minute. Um, what are these beans here? Got some beans, got nasturtiums everywhere. More fennel. They say don't plant fennel amongst other things, but other things are growing well around it. Yeah, these beans are quite good as well. Loads and loads on here. I say loads and loads, you know, yeah, it is loads and loads, loads for me anyway, that's what matters. Cabbage, now this is the French pumpkin. I'll give you the name of that when I get home as well. Rose to burn tomatoes, loads off there. That's just damage on the side there, that's not blight or anything. Um, leeks at the end, pumpkins growing through everywhere. Yeah, leeks and some more lettuce. And some more golden fever fuel, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, so that's it. Oh, there's another bucket of potatoes and he's tipping out. I've just seen that one. Oh, I need to get some thyme as well. Hang on, while I'm here. Oh. Get that. It's that spider, that. Looks like he's got eyes on his rear. Well, there you go, guys. What started off as a quick walk around the plot ended up as uh, another 10 minutes. <laughs> but um, I think you'll agree, it's a lovely allotment site. And I'm going to do a walk around the whole place soon. I was desperate to get some brassicas in today, but it's just too hot. I'm not going to spend, I don't know, four or five days watering every plant. Um, well, that's for another video, I suppose. Anyway, look after yourselves and uh, take care, guys.